Good morning, everyone. This is Ocean Geographic Live again. I'm here in Sydney, Australia, and we have Alex as co-host in Chicago and Huawei Kai in Manila. In Manila, yes. Hello, everyone. Ah, so, you're in Manila. So what, okay, cool. Uh, the Ocean Geographic emerging master photographer. He's from China, but based in the Philippines, and has dedicated the last two, three years of his life focus on black water. So today he is going to take, you, take us to a journey, his journey uh, to the realm, the pelagic realm in the darkness of the night. Off you go, Alex. Take it over. Okay. Yes. Okay. So Wowie, I'm going to take a moment to tell everybody a little bit about you and then we'll jump into your presentation. So for anyone who doesn't know about Huawei yet, uh, he's pretty much got the most ridiculously amazing Blackwater photos and video, and you're seriously in for a real treat this evening. So um, he's won numerous awards in various international photography competitions, including uh, the prestigious NHM Wildlife Photographer of the Year and Nature's Best Photography. His works have been published in countless magazines and books, and have been featured in numerous exhibitions, including at the Smithsonian Museum in Washington, the Natural History Museum in London, Museum Koenig in Germany, and Nature Museum in the Netherlands. His photographs have been reported about by Chinese and international media channels. Though many have indulged in blackwater photography, no one does it with more gusto than Huawei. It's not uncommon for him to dive through the night to the wee hours of the morning. His dogged enthusiasm has paid off tremendously with awards and recognition by his peers. And in his words, being able to explore the depths of the ocean is one of the most wonderful experiences in life. And I could not agree more with that last part. So with that in mind, let's dive right in with you. <laughs> and uh, yeah, so to tell us about what you've been doing and show us some great images. We're excited to see what you've got. Uh, thank you, Alex. Okay, yeah. okay. can you hear me? So, yeah. Yeah. Thank you. So today, uh, thank you for Michael to give me an opportunity to share my uh, journey, my uh, Blackwater work for everybody. So today I'm going to talk uh, about the, the Blackwater for sure. So today I'm going to talk about the perspective. Uh, and also I'm going to talk how I edit my photo. So it's about my post-production. Uh, uh, Alex already introduced myself, so I just skip this one. Uh, <laughs> I'm a NOC Marine Conservation uh, Group. I'm the director of this group. This group is uh, uh, started in Shanghai. Uh, now we, we're working on some universities, and then I also share my photo to them. and. Uh, we, our target is to encourage the young people now in China, especially with uh, how we do the marine conservation. And this is my equipment. So I, I have two DA50 uh, with the SICAM housing and I use uh, 60 mm macro to shoot my work. And I also have, uh, I use a SICAM stroke uh, I also have the three scuba lamp light and then v uh, 6 k and v 12 k I use for for my uh, night dive and uh, uh, especially for safety purpose. Because when you when you dive black water, you you don't know you don't you don't know your deep. So uh, basically, every five meter, I put up one to two lights. So when I look back, I I, I know my uh, exact uh, deep. Uh, this is the uh, dive bar. So uh, some of the place that you can do black water if you you want to get this uh, picture. Maybe after this, uh, uh, you can send me a message in the Facebook so I can also send you a copy. Uh, now I want to share the video I make maybe two or three months ago. So uh, I hope you guys enjoy and you know more about the black water. So let's start.
is a very very short uh, film because uh, you know before many people always ask me if uh, I use uh, special light or I use something lights to shoot my uh, creatures because most of the people they don't believe this this kind of uh, creature is existing so I decided a very short film to to tell everybody this is what I saw and then I just uh, took what I saw I, I I did not make did not put any special lights or something this exactly what you see in the water and then what is in the photo so uh, today I'm go uh, I'm going to talk about the perspective uh, because the perspective determine the aesthetic quality of the picture uh, your the, the photo uh, if you have a, a color white balance or you have uh, some adjustment you can adjust after but composition and perspective you cannot do it once you have finished your photo so uh, to, today I'm going to to share my uh, perspective, my composition, how I take my uh, uh, photo. You know, now underwater photography is divided into wide angle. And then uh, most of people, they shoot macro, and now there's a lot of people shooting black water. So now we have the, uh, the, uh, some of the competition, they have the black water category, especially for black water. So uh, it's amazing, you know, to share your word and then you, you attract more people to, to do what you do, uh, to inspire people, to also to to learn. Also, you, you also teach everybody. So, uh, last year, I started uh, bring up some, uh, like, famous for photographer from from around the world, they come to me and then I, I bring them to my backyard, to Anilao, to some of my uh, favorite type site. And, uh, you know, to, to especially to, to start up with the beginners, it's, uh, it's very difficult. Uh, you know, to, 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 to take a, to took a, a nice photo, amazing photo, uh, everyone is actually not difficult. First of all, do not be excited. I have taken many photographers who first went to Blackwater. Whatever I see a rare species, uh, you will see a diver swimming faster than a shark. You know, they come to you and then, and then they, they, they have to order water and then after that, the, the subject is loose. So, uh, to, to take a photo actually is not difficult. It's that you need to have a, a good patient and then just imagine that when you walk in the glassland of Africa and then there's a big lion run to you. Of course, you'll be scared. So when, when we shoot some like squid, like octopus, so we, we, the, the most important things is you must be patient. It's like how you treat your girlfriend. You must be very, very patient. So uh, this, this is the most, most important things. When you see something, you don't, you don't try to shoot first. You, 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 you must think your uh, perspective which angle is the best for that animal? And then uh, how, 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 do you, how do, you, do you shoot? And then also you must think about the animal because it's very important that the animal is, is not stressed. It, it must be you and the animal is like, uh, you don't disturb him. So, so how, how do you do that? So when every time I saw a creature, I, I spend time, like some five, 10 minutes to stay, you don't shoot first, and then, uh, and then you, you, you find the perspective, which angle is good for, for this animal, and then you try to, to, to shoot. So I have five perspectives, uh, I, how I shoot the animal. So I, later on, I will show you the photos. So it's first I shoot from, from in the front. This is very basic. Like when you shoot a nudie brown, you always, you always want to shoot the front shot. And then shoot from a height. This some, some of the black water uh, critters like uh, squid, you can easily to see the transparent, like the organ and everything. So shoot from a height, sometimes you, 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 you can see 
organ inside of the, the squid so or octopus and shoot from above uh, this also a very uh, very nice angle when you shoot the diamond squid and then you shoot from above you can see the whole body it's like later I show you the photo and shoot from a low place is this one of my favorite because you can you can uh, pull more attraction you, you make your subject bigger so shoot from low place and then shoot up close when you shoot a behavior so you, you wanna you wanna close shot you wanna uh, fill fill up the full frame so this is a behavior a squid eating squid so uh, I show you uh, first is Okay, so I have a, I have a four photos. So first, I shoot shoot from the front. So you, you and then I shoot from the close, very close. So I, I try to 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 fill out the, all the frame. So I also shoot. This is the, one I want to tell everyone is when you see something, you must think first, or you, you, you see through your eyes first when, when, you, when you start shooting. So this for, for this is from a low place. So you, you could see a two squid together. Like you, it's easy to see that this squid is eating this squid. It's not, it's not when, you, when you show other people this photo in, and then they don't know what happened. So this one is also easy to tell. Like, the squid is eating squid. It's not a main thing or something because you see the head is already broken. Uh, this is a photo, uh, this is a uh, paper nautilus. So the basic principle of dealing with the subject is to make it stand out. So I like the background image because it's more likely to attract the audience to focus on the subject. Especially at the night, you have no choice. So your background, it must be black. And then uh, shooting a uh, moving animal in black water is like turn, on, turn off your light in the room and then you, you shoot the flies. So sometimes the, the uh, animal, they move too much. So you, you don't have, it's not 100% it's not that when you see it, you can shoot it. Some of, some of the things when you see it and then they, they fly away. So uh, it's... actually always pay attention to your tip the subject species uh, are particularly rare such as a deep sea fish I like somebody frozen. Is he frozen for you too? Yeah, he's frozen for me. He's frozen. I think that he's, his internet connections uh, in Philippines that is causing the delay. I'm sure he'll be back soon. So stand Probably. by everyone. Let me just try to let me try and get him and let him know he's frozen. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> All right. That sounds Same funny. <laughs> he's frozen. Sorry, sir. You're he, frozen. He, you realize that though i don't think so i just yeah i thought it was gonna yeah. catch yeah, up but yeah, it didn't it's, 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 let me just try to catch him there you go he's coming back in or what is he doing he's coming back in i'm not sure yeah. hopefully coming back in uh, i'm looking no he's not yet Not yet. You know when he comes in, so uh, let me try to cut him one uh, good shot. Okay. There you go. There he is. You see? Yeah, where is he? Oh, there you go. Welcome there back. You are. Welcome Hi. back. 
my internet is not very good. Sorry. That's okay. Uh, it's okay. No problem. Just keep it going. We 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 we'll, we understand. So keep going. Oh, can you hear me? Yeah. Yes. Sure. Sure. Okay. Go ahead. So uh, let's come back to the paper notice. Uh, this paper notice is writing on a jellyfish. Uh, I, when I first photographed a paper notice, is about three or four years ago. At the time, you know, only few people took this uh, this kind of photo. And then the first time when I saw it, it's like it's like my uh, when I saw my first girlfriend. You know, it's very exciting. <laughs> <laughs> you know, you always remember that. But now, you know, they are everywhere. So they are everywhere. When you jump in the water, you can see them everywhere. So uh, it's quite interesting. And these these are two photos taken from almost the same angle view. One angle is slightly higher. So you you will find that it is much large in in the compared with the the paper nautilus. So I want to share like when you see this photo, you, you don't you don't you don't just shoot from or you don't just shoot try to shoot from the side. Some of the photo you can try to shoot from the top or from a little bit higher. So you you pull up your subject. So the people when they when they see the photo and then they know this is a, a kind of a paper notice. This is your, your your main subject is the paper notice, not the jellyfish. So. Uh, this kind of I want to put up some samples like uh, also like this one I, I also shoot from uh, low place so you, sometimes it's like the um, the anger I think is very nice for the black water most of the main body of the black water is transparent some of them can be easily see uh, you can see the organs you can see the eyes and uh, this anger bring different vision so this one is shoot from the above. This is shoot from above. This is shoot from a low place. So when you see, it's like it's like a ball, it's like a ball. So shoot from above is not easy, but you 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 show a new vision to people. So sometimes you just need the right time plus the. You, you have a lucky and then plus uh, the right exposure and you can you can eject uh, some unexpected photos. The main idea of the picture is still, so, but because of the small creature next to it and they give people an imagination to stop the audience to think, like uh, maybe this ear is gonna, is gonna eat the, the plantons or maybe they're just friends. So I put up a subject on this photo, it's like friend or food or or they just after that I, I don't know because when I go home I just saw this uh, uh, plantain on the left so it's, it's mm -hmm. quite interesting so and then they stop they they starting thinking ah what what is happening so it's quite interesting sometimes you need a lucky you also need you also need uh, the good way how you you should you follow the exposure because transparent uh, crit, crit, uh, creature is very really hard to to, to to shoot and then. Uh, behavior is always uh, been my favorite. You know, when you when you know about marine life behavior than other photographers, you have a one at the start li starting line. So because you know it, you know what what what's gonna happen. So I have seen this uh, symbiotic relationship relationship many many times. I swim with this one for around maybe ten minutes because this fish is very fast. They sometimes they go down twenty five meters and then they swim directly from shallow from one or maybe surface so they go down again and they go up so when when you try to shoot them you, you don't go really really close so for the first you you try to swim with i try to swim with the with, with the fish for around 10 minutes before i start in shooting and then i have a good uh, distance and then when 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 and then when the fish already complete use uh, my existence and then i choose to shoot at the beginning so he, if if I choose at if I shoot directly, it might be able to take these photos. So this is this is the photo I shoot from the low press, and then this I shoot from the front, and then this one is uh, you shoot up close. 
So you could see it, the, the, the fish is get in, is inside of the jellyfish. So for the first time when I saw it, I thought it's uh, the, the jellyfish eating the fish. Actually it's not, because the, the, fish, the fish is always pushing, you know, they're pushing the jellyfish and they're coming out and in and out and in. And then I, last year I met a guy from uh, Japan, I think uh, he's a marine biologist and he told me this kind of behavior like fish is sleeping, actually he's sleeping inside of the jellyfish. So uh, it's, a, it's you, know, you know, very interesting. Uh, and then na last is the, uh, here, sorry, diamond squid. So shoot from above, shoot from above. Uh, my favorite is diamond squid. Because you know, the color is pinkish and then uh, you could see all the organ inside. And then, you know, black water is very, is simpler than other photography. There is no color background. I personally, I personally do not like to use colored lamp, you know, to shoot the subject, especially black water because it's easy to, you know, mislead people. Especially some people do not like, and you put the color light and then they do, what's happened? What, what is the, 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 the true color? So, uh, you just, you just want to photograph the subject some creatures may only see it for once a lifetime. The most important is you understand the behavior of the subject, and then you know where you shoot and how you shoot. So some, you know, you shoot from the side is also very nice. And then this one is also shoot from above. So you, actually you see, you know, all the organs, so you can see everything. Uh, it's, a, it's a different, different way, you know, how you, you compose and how, how you, 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 you shoot your photo, especially the composition and then uh, perspective is very important. So I just put up some samples. So uh, the best way, of course, to shoot uh, this kind of photo is you, also, you, 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 you can uh, always check the other people's photo. So you, you, you learn, you know, what, what is your perspective. So there's no pers perspective that is perfect. So the only thing is, is you, you must be, you, you must learn what is the best for you. And then you, you come up with your own perspective. So uh, again, I have five when I shoot the subject. I, when I saw something, I always think first. I always think first. I do not shoot first. You don't shoot first. You, you must think first. What, which angle, which angle is best for this animal? Behavior, you, you want to shoot it closer, and then uh, it's kind of uh, like diamond squid, you want to shoot from above. So, eel, you want to shoot from above, you also can try something like this. And then paper nautilus, you can try to shoot from the height. Uh, this is uh, my personal perspective. So, uh, if you like the photo, and then you can also share my photo. I have a website, and I can tell you. Uh, late as so. and then okay uh, now I'm going to to share this one uh, how I edit my photo so this photo I think last year is a photo competition uh, I win the, the photo competition in Ocean Geographic so this is a raw file you see this uh, I do not touch anything so this is a raw file so actually it's very clean because the, that night the water is visibility is quite good and everything is, is, is okay. And uh, second one is uh, Pompano. The third one is a frying fish. So when you see, when you shoot a slow shot, actually this one is not box cutter. It's a kind of worm. When you shoot the worm is everywhere. So you have, you have, you have, you cannot tell the worm like, ah, you go to the left, you go to the right. So you have no choice. So. Sometimes when you shoot the black water, this is the, always the problem. Black scatter, you can adjust your stroke a little bit left, a little bit right. But the worm, you can adjust because they, you don't know where they fly. It's there a lot. And then this one is the uh, uh, last year uh, in the Nas National History Museum, the WPR competition. It's a raw fire, so it's it's uh, it's very clean. When you see it, uh, it's good for the competition because. Uh, when you see the raw fire, you just only make a little bit adjustment. So some of the competition is very important. You have the good raw fire, and then 
you have a good exposure, you have a good composition, and then you just edit a little, a little. So I, I will start with I will start with this four. So, uh, sorry. So first of all, uh, what I what I do is always I start up with in the Lightroom. So it's easy. First step, my first step always cropping. So uh, I try to put the the eyes, the ruler of third. I put the eyes at the ruler of third, and then this one at the bottom. I do. I I, I like this one very much. So I don't want to cut. So I try to cut from the top. So uh, first, always cropping. And the second one, I, I I will look for the the white balance. So the white balance, you 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 need to find either it's gray or white, or sometimes I really depend on of my feeling. So uh, it's very important. I want to tell everybody. So when you see something, you you try to stay at least ten minutes, because it's very important when you edit a photo. Uh, you just edit what you see. It's like when you see the, I see the pompano, the, the tail is blue. So I want to, I want to, I, wanna, I just want to restore the blue because uh, in the black water, it's really hard to adjust the white balance in the water. It's because some of things are running very fast. You don't have, you don't, you don't have the time to, you know, to adjust every setting. So you, you want, you, you want a good camera. So when you see something, you just shoot. So this one, uh, the color is, uh, I, I, I remember in my mind is a little bit blue. So this is the what I see in the water. So uh, you know the black water always you don't want to do is uh, overexposure. So I I normally I put up a little bit exposure and the con 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 contrast is maybe two, uh, not more than fifteen, and then I minimize my highlight and uh, why sometimes you can hold so you could see the your white but I edit with the feeling so I lower the blue and then I put up some more shadow so uh, I also also put up some texture and then clarity and then the haze and then the brands and then but the saturation I normally I, 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 I put, put them a little bit down uh, here I also put up some lights so and then this is my uh, favorite adjustment, the, the SD, uh, HSL colors. So sometimes, uh, you know, when you, when, you, when you adjust the, the colors, you see, it's uh, easy to change. So I remember the night, the, the tail is a little bit blue. So when you, when, when you use this tool, you, you put up on the body, so you, you can see, you, you just, this is, only blue and a little bit purple. So you see the purple and the blue is moving. So now you you find the feeling. What what you see, what is what I see in the in, in the pompano is I remember is clearly is blue. So now I wanna restore the color like okay so it's a bit, you know now now is this is the blue I, I exactly remember that night I uh is same with it is so sometimes I, I wanna put a little bit uh, saturation so I, I put more blue so it's easy you just click this one and then you you go to the blue part and then you move you see and then you just put a little you don't put too much and then this uh, domain and so you also put a little bit yeah and I minimize a little bit highlight so Actually, it's already finished. So when you compare this, when you compare these two photos, you see, it's uh, it's much more attractive, right? And then the color contrast and everything is is uh, perfect. So you don't need to to edit too much. You just edit what you see. So when we compare the color, the, exactly the the body and the pen and everything, you could see. Actually, it's quite easy. And then the second photo I want to show is uh, the flying fish I shoot up with a slow shutter. The, the first step always you crop your photo. So also I always want to put uh, the eyes at the third part or sometimes you can also put up a little bit 
from left or right, so you see the flying fish from left running to the right, so you have more space at the right. And then uh, also same, a little bit exposure, contrast, and then you always put on the highlight and white. So you put, you put a little bit shadow, and then black, uh, you can see the black easily, but uh, I, I edit with the feelings. This is this is also easy. So always like okay, and then and then always I I come to the color. So I want to collect the color. You see. So now it's a little bit yellow. Situation a little bit higher. So I put up movements. And the next part is uh, you know this one is. Sometimes uh, you don't like your photo, you know, you have this kind of, uh, like call a box cutter or something like, they call in some of the people, they call in like shit or something. So uh, actually it's easy. You just uh, pull the, uh, you, you just use a brush tool and then uh, you pull up the black and the exposure. And then, And then, yeah, they're gone. So to, to I, you know, I'm, I'm a very lazy guy. I don't want to spend many time, you know, to, to, to edit. So I, I just edit what I see. So some, because you know, the camera, you have a raw file, you have every, every, you have everything inside of the raw file. So you just restore what you see. So I just put up two photos and how I edit these two also same. So uh, it's a uh, very short and then I, I, and if you guys have a question, you can ask me. Hi, Michael. So I stopped the- That was great. Thank you for that. I'm going on uh, Facebook to see if we've got questions there. I know we do. Um, that was amazing. Ah, so cool. While I'm looking for pictures, um, that must be so hard to do uh, video. Like that's got to be even tougher to do video compared to photography with those. Is it? Is it as hard yeah. as it sounds? <laughs> well, when the first time I have the Z7, like everyone is blown away in the house. It's very exciting. I, I, when when I shoot photo, I can I uh, use my ears to feel. What is my tip? Because I don't want I don't I don't see my watch. Because when you see your your computer and then when you turn around, your subject is already gone. So I, I can feel it when you feel when you That's feel true. like tuck, tuck, tuck means hey, you're going up, and then you feel like <laughs> painful, you're going down. So when I feel it's very very painful, I know I'm at the 35 meters. Always I can feel it in my ears. But when I start when I start shooting video, I can I feel it, you know. The photo, you just, you, just, you just need one second or maybe less than a second to shoot. For the video, you need 10 or sometimes 20 seconds. So when I shoot, I try to shoot from uh, 25 and then I, I check the computer, I already at 40 meters. You know, I'm using nitrous. <laughs> so, oh no. <laughs> it's not, video is not good for, it's not, especially black water, it's not good for everyone. Because you have, you have your, your, your you know, concentrate, your, your, your mind is always, oh, we want to shoot the 20 seconds. But the yeah. photo is one second so it's very different but you know video is is nice to share it's yeah oh it's amazing yeah the, the the blanket the part uh, you know is, when they turn it's amazing you know in front and, and then when you shoot a photo you just you just have one frame but in a video you could see the, the you know the, the full action and how they throw the blanket and then they roll in, and then after that they gone. So it's it's quite interesting, actually. Yeah, and it's it's really incredible, especially with things like you said, like the blanket octopus, because the photos, no matter how good they are, they just don't do it justice the same way that the video does. Because you look and you're like, what a weird animal! They're just amazing to see. So I'm so glad you got that footage. <laughs> so um, uh, you yeah. your your raw files are very clean. Yeah, uh, and because we, we, as from last year, the NHM and Ocean Geographic has put in the condition you cannot 
clone or you cannot remove any backscatter. Yeah. How do you, how do you share with the audience? How do you position your stroke so well? Do you have so little backscatter? How do you position your stroke? Uh, I have a, I have a, a, you know, I, I can share it after this. I can post in the in the Facebook and how is the position. This, um, the most important things is, is choosing. Uh, you don't go to the light. So when you put the light, right, we put, we put our light 5, 10, 15, 25. So when, when, when you put the light, you have more, more like we call the plantains. So when, when, when you get in, in, into the plantains, you have all the box cut. And to position your light, you, you need a, a diffuser. So I use a diffuser. And you know, the diffuser can, can, uh, can or, or, or do you call it, can deduce. Soften the, the light, yeah. Yeah, the 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 box cut because any law you have no choice. Any law the water is not very clear. So in like Hawaii or some like uh, French Polynesia, I know I saw some following. The water is very clear. You don't have box cutter. You don't have box cutter problem. But any law, it's very seasonal. It's very seasonal. I also have a lot of photo. Have a lot of a lot, a lot of box cutter. Some of photo when the season is good, like December January, the water is quite clear. You have twenty or thirty meters visibility. And then. I, I, I normally I shoot in this uh, this season like from de uh, December to February the water is quite clear so because you have no choice the box color is there and then the only you can do is you put a diffuser so you, you, you can less the box color and then you try to shoot a little bit under exposure because when you when you when you shoot over exposure you, you, you expose everything so a little bit like minus two, minus three. Even if you have a DA fifty, actually you can do it minus five. Even you, 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 uh, you, you have the exposure like minus. I said, see, I'm sorry, it's zero point five. So you could adjust after. So it's easy because this year I know the NSM. You cannot edit. You cannot. Last year is my first year I entered the competition. So I don't know because some of the competition you can you can. You can remove the bus car. But in the, most competitions, you can. And yeah. uh, in NHM and Ocean Geographic, we don't allow you to allow to remove or add, I mean, remove any backscatter or you have to be as it is. So I think yeah. what you do is lever off. But sometimes, because there's so much in it, you cannot, you cannot do anything about it. Yeah. So that's why it's interesting to know the stroke position, how you position it to minimize the, the, the backscatter. Okay. Uh, another question I ask you to share, viewer, is. Um, in a black water dive, uh, what uh, what is your perspective of uh, the the location you go to? How do you find your locations? Uh, location is like that. When I start up the black water in uh, in myself, because I, I start up with my uh, I go alone and then I have my own boat, I have my guy, and then first time I go very very deep, like three hundred, five hundred, and then we 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 really go very far. And then most of the time, you, when you go to the deep water in Anilao, I don't know, I don't know in, in Hawaii, in, in other places. Uh, it's nothing. When you see, when you go 500 meters, it's nothing in Anilao. 500 meter water in Anilao is nothing. The whole 500 night, meter deep, 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 right? Deep, yeah, deep water. Okay. So I, I, I went really, really far away. I see nothing. So we spent like one week, and then one day we, we there's a, like a big wave, and then we, jump every we, we jump like uh, me and two guys we jump into the water and then there's a up, up current and then next day i went to chamber something i saw i start i start start up how i learn so i met some japanese guys in uh, japan and then i try to talk to them to talk to them and then you, you know in, in you know in japan you cannot go out especially at the night time you need to come back 9 p.m so uh, these people they can only do in Japanese bonfire, but you know what 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 they see in Japan we also if in in Hawaii or in Florida, what they saw it in one thousand meter water, and then in Japan they saw it at ten meter. So I think the the right way is the Japanese way. So I try to learn how they how they you know how they how they how they know the the place. So. We we start uh, we start to talk with the fishermen and the you know the fishermen they know the current. So I know it's easy when 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 the high tide the current is from left to the right, and then when when it's low tide it's from right to the left. So 
every day when, when we start go up, we just see the tides. So which day is the high tide and then we, we, go, we, we go to the place. So the first is uh, you, when you, when you, when you want to do black waters, even in other countries, Maldives or Indonesia, is to, is to learn from the fishermen. Because these people, they, they're working for, for the entire their life to fishing. And then they know which place is good for fishing. And then if, if there's more fish, means there's more food. So it's same with the black water. So you, there's, no, there's no place like you just go to one, two, three, point three, and then you see blanket octopus. It's wrong. You, you must know where, which the current is from, from maybe from one, two, three to one, two, five, because I have a C map. And then every time I go, and then we, we, we find the current line. Even at line, even at nighttime, you can see the current line. Current line is two current, and then they, they bump together, and then there's a current line. So when you find the current line, you put the light, and then you, you try to check if there's many jellyfish. If you see that, I call the black diamonds, and then you see a lot of jellyfish. So you jump into water, you check many jellyfish, and then you just do your black water. And then uh, sure, t tonight you're going to see a lot of uh, cre cre uh, creatures. So my favorite is between 100 to 200 meters water. Because, you know, you have all the plantains there, you have the food there. And then last year, you know, we see the uh, uh, four or five kind of uh, river fish, so it's it's quite interesting. And also, I have a, I have I have an experience. One day, I saw twenty of uh, uh, earthquake fish. We call the all fish. One night. Wow, but that's amazing. Probably there's a couple of questions here. Uh, yeah. What do you use for for black water? Do you Sorry? need a high O? And what is the usual setup? Ah, uh, my setup. I, I I normally I start I start with eyes of 400, 500, because I want my uh, uh, and then the aperture is twenty, and then the shutter speed is uh, two hundred. You know why four why four hundred why five hundred? Uh, because you you only have maybe uh, my shot I can shoot three hundred shots, so when you pull up I start to one hundred you must uh, turn your stroke power to maybe 50 or 60 percent. So you, you only have 100 shots. But now the camera, like DA50 is very good camera. Also Canon, also the 5D Mark IV. So when you shoot with 400 and 500, actually the, when you see it, the detail is on, it's almost the same with 200 or 300. So that's why I put 500 is to shoot more photos. If, if, if there is a stroke that I can shoot 200, maybe 500 shot and then I will shoot 200. But uh, it doesn't matter, like ISO 400, if you shoot ISO 200 and then your, your aperture maybe 20 and then shutter speed 200, but you, you shoot, because we have a diffuser and then you will shoot the full power. But she come, I shoot at the 38%. So 38% per, of the CCAM is equivalent to maybe Z, uh, Z what was, what's, the, what's, the, what's the stroke of uh, Enon? Z240, something like that. Maybe the 38% 30, per, 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 maybe the full power of that stroke. So it's, it's uh, I start up with F20, ISO 500, and then 200. So it, depended, it depends what you shoot. If you shoot a transparent, like the eel, Sometimes I shoot until ISO 800 because I want to see all the retail. So I put a, my stroke a little bit left and uh, I use a side light because the ear, the eyes is silver. So always uh, you, you have the overexposure. And when you shoot uh, like paper nautilus, uh, adult one, they are big. So uh, you shoot 400 or 200 actually is enough because. Uh, the color is not uh, transparent, so it's easy. Yeah. Very neat. Okay, so another question from Facebook. Um, how many images do you normally take of each subject? How many? Oh, it's a very tough question. <laughs> I'm sure it is. <laughs> it really depends how many for one subject. Because uh, most likely, uh, let's say, let's say the, the, the African Pompano. Uh, I, I want to. I, I always want to shoot slow shutter. So, 
uh, maybe I would say one subject, maybe 20 or not more than 30. Because uh, most of the time I use for things, uh, especially composition. I want I want to show that this photo when I click, you know, I don't delete. Before, like three or four years ago, when I see something, I always continue shoot uh, like like some of the one subject I shoot maybe three hundred or four hundred, and then return when you come back, you delete all of them. So now, I want to make sure, like, this photo is the right uh, composition. So I would say maximum for me now is thirty, one subject. Because if I don't see the, uh, the best angle, I don't click my shutter. So yeah, this is that. This is my answer. That makes sense. Yeah, then you don't have so much to delete. <laughs> <laughs> so uh, yeah. when you come back, you see you have a, like five thousand photos, and then you know. oh, <laughs> too much, <laughs> too much storage. <laughs> Um, people would like to know more about what kind of lenses you usually use. I only use 60 and then I have a, I have okay. a, he's frozen again. Oh no. <laughs> uh, okay, okay, oh, there back. you're back. You're back. Yay. <laughs> the wife, the, how do you say the internet is not very good. Yeah, <laughs> that's okay. This isn't too bad. Let's trying to see what else do we have. Um, All right, Huawei, that was excellent. I think that is uh, one of the, one of the uh, very good insight into uh, black black water. And uh, if anybody have any questions, uh, please post it to us on Facebook. And we, I'm, I will, I'm sure Huawei will be glad to reply to that. Uh, this is our 16 sessions uh, with uh, uh, on Ocean Geographic Live. So on the screen, you see that all our live sessions are inside YouTube uh, Ocean Geographic channels. Uh, for the past uh, uh, 16 days, we have got a session every day with Silver O, Alec Master, Doug Perrine, Maddie Smith, Matthew Miller, Jane Morgan, uh, so go to the channel. You can view view the uh, various uh, recorded session we have got before. So, uh, any anyway, uh, thank you very much for watching, and thank you Huawei for joining us this morning. Um, and then we will be back another session maybe tomorrow or the day after tomorrow. We're not sure yet. We still have to confirm the time with uh, David Dubelay uh, and and Jennifer Hayes. So uh, thank you everyone again. So thank you Huawei. How is it going for you up in the in in in, in the in Manila? Can you go diving? Uh, no. It's have we lost it again? <laughs> oh no, I think maybe. <laughs> I think so. We lost him. I think so. Anyway, it sounds thank you, like everyone. it sounds like no, he can't go diving, which is a bummer. All right. <laughs> <laughs> That's the last thing I heard. Night and uh, and see you again tomorrow or day after tomorrow. You see. Bye. Okay. Okay. Bye. Sounds bye. good. Have a good night. Thank you, Huawei. Bye. 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 -bye.